Greetings. We're here to share something with you all. Niggas do not create societies. Niggas do not create civilizations. Niggas are a creation, a creature that other people created to not minimize the first people on the planet Earth, their descendants, their children, for them not to understand. Niggas get our creation, and some of us will go and embrace it willingly. With love, we're going to embrace it, not understand it's a part of madness and sickness. And some of you might try to rationalize it. If that's on you to try to rationalize it, I will not, because we're about liberation, about freedom and elevation. That's not what we're, that, the other stuff you want to get into, that's craziness. Negus, negus has nothing to do with nigger. And we create mythologies. African Americans, in particular black folks, will create mythologies to try to justify and rationalize some stuff. As opposed to going forward with God to liberation. So again, niggas are a creature. And what has happened? God created you first on the planet Earth. You were the first ones created on the planet Earth. Which means that you're at the pinnacle. You're at the pinnacle. Then there are others who want to replace you at the pinnacle. And they have done all that they can to replace you. And they even not gave you some words to make you now not embrace yourself and make you go down to the sin. Not to ascend, but to descend. And if some of us embrace that, and we run with that, and it doesn't matter on your educational level, your financial, your income level, your understanding, your religious uh, foundation, doesn't matter. Some of us embrace it willing, and we spit it out, and we feed it to other people. And it is destructive to folks. I have to ask this question. How could the uku chuku, the children of God, fall so greatly and so far? when they had the understanding, when they had the light, when they had the fire, when they had it right there. These other people come along and now destroy your mind, tear your mind up, so psychologically you embrace it, and you today go and rationalize and say that you have power over the word. If you have power over the word, there'll be no sting to the word. But guess what? There's a sting to the word. Then when you walk out your home, you know it's a possibility that you could be killed by non-Africans. And so don't come to stuff about black on black crime because that also is a part of that mindset of the nigga who go and rationalize and spit this stuff out. When again, you're not even looking sociologically at all of it. See again, you have understanding, you know how to attack madness when they come at you. It doesn't matter about someone black on black crime. You got Asian on Asian crime, Caucasian on Caucasian crime, Latino on Latino crime. So everybody has it. So don't try to make it a stigma just to black folks. And some of y'all rationalize that again because you are a nigga, you have no understanding, limited understanding. But back to when you walk out of your home, you walk out of your home, you can be killed by someone, and then they make sure they use the N-word. You can seek to get a job, and they will not let you get the job because you are a nigger. You want to be educated. They will not educate you fairly and with, equ with equality. That's a 5% nation always say, and I love that. With equality, because you are a nigger. They will not let you have opportunities because you are a nigger. They will not let you ascend because you are that, because you need to be in a lowly state, because that's what they have embedded in their minds, and you also now embedded in your own mind, too, that now you will go ahead and not even uh, want to be a man or be a woman and prefer just to be a nigger. Yes. How can the uku who the children of God, fall so great? And then rationalize and justify because when they come down to, when they do all this to you, they still make sure the word is still put out there to, to dehumanize you. As one of my people want to say, demoralize you. Yes, no, you have no power of the word. And then you have, again, oh, black folks, you have short-term memory. Black folks go and say this right now. Uh, we have power of the word. We change the word. That we have the A on the end of the word. So that means love. And we have the E on the end of the word. That means hate. Get out of here, that stupidity. You think that's something new? Again, short-term memory. They said that in the 1700s, 1800s, and 1900s. So guess what? Some poo-poo from the past, you not spit the poo-poo out right now. That's old poo-poo that you're speaking. You're putting out there and see, because you have that short-term memory and don't know your history. See, those of us who understand, I look at people, I'm like, what? That is stupid. 
that's obvious you don't know your history. And your mama and daddy didn't teach you either. And your grandmama and granddaddy didn't teach you either. And they great, great granddaddy and great, great, great grandmamas didn't teach you either. So all y'all been spitting out some stupidity. Oh, that's on some of y'all. But see, some of us, our grandmothers and grandfathers and great, great grandmothers and great, great, great grandfathers gave us understanding, gave us enlightenment. We knew not to embrace the madness of these other people right here. And we don't spit their stuff out. How can the people on the planet Earth, the first one to acknowledge that there's a most high, that there's a creator, how can they fall so lowly into the depths of being with the gods in hell on Earth? How can the people, the first ones on this planet, to create the rituals to praise the most high fall so great? How can the first ones, the first have government, to have rule, have laws, have rules for people to function in societies. How could they fall so great? And then some so ridiculous that the only one saying, we're the first one to have philosophy. We have philosophy on how you walk the walk, how you talk the talk, how you must manifest your dean of fitler, your way, the way of nature, your natural way, my eye, truth, justice, righteousness, and reciprocity. The first ones to do something like that. The first one to do that. How could they fall so great? How are the first one to navigate the earth, to go around, to travel the waterways, the ones to travel the landways, the first one to go into Asia, the first one to go into the subcontinent, the ones to go into Europe, the first ones to do that, the first one to travel, the first ones that have an understanding about engineering, the first ones that have the concept to understand mathematical formulas, we're the ones that have that. They don't want to give you credit, and you run with that because you come from a European standpoint, a European understanding, a European educational system. That's right, lacking equality. And you are taught that, and you continue to spit it out as opposed to not having a liberated mind and say, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's not rational. You're going to tell me that nobody else was able to do that before, that no one else has some concepts, some foundation? Because, again, we like talking about foundation, that things are built upon. And should you want to start everything in Europe? Absolutely incorrect. You better go back to Africa and to African people and understand that as we evolve, again, you're going to, you build upon what we have done. Give the proper credit. And so that's why, again, so those who are college educated, who got their PhDs, their masters, their BSs, their BBAs, their B, uh, BAs, all of that, spit out that they're niggas and they think that it's okay and create falseness and lies. The ones who don't even have degrees and who uh, just have a high school diploma or a GED, who may have only a third grade or first grade or no grade education, they didn't spit it out also, so you all embrace it. You may be a millionaire, you still go and embrace it, and guess what? You think it's okay. That's why you all are afraid. You all are afraid to stand up for being men and women. You think you're a man or woman, you're never a man or woman in the eyes of other people because they treat you unfairly and you have to fight even harder. It's about bringing about equality. The first ones on the planet are supposed to be right here at the pinnacle always. Your children should not rule you. You should be ruling your children, guiding your children because you've had the wisdom first. You had wisdom first. You had, again, the God consciousness, the taqwa. You've had that first. You were the ones that God said, kun faya kun be. And you are. Yes. The nigga is a creature that was created by other people. And here go black folks, the ones who embrace stuff that dehumanize them and go lovingly, lovingly go and talk about and create these false lies, these, 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 uh, these, these false statements, these lies, these mythologies that promote them being dehumanized. And then you look around like, why are you treat the way that you are? Because niggas are afraid of liberation and elevation. Yes, niggas are afraid of liberation and elevation. Africans seek liberation and elevation, and they seek to share with other people like them and those who are not like them. So that now people have a proper understanding of the humanity and the greatness of African people, the way it's treated fairly. So that's why our people, when they're educated, they understand how education is tied to them greatly. That again, they don't walk into a classroom, they walk into an environment, they walk into a church, they don't walk into a lecture hall, they don't walk into a place, they don't walk in the streets, they don't look at television and see, don't see their story being properly placed there. Because somebody else has a wrong concept of starting in this place called Europe. Not understanding, you better go back to Africa. It's a disservice to African people 
when they embrace other people's story and don't even logically go and think about why you're not going to Africa when we're the first ones on the planet. The sciences of the mind, of the body, of the land, of the sea, of the air, you gotta go to Africa. Nothing's new under the sun, but niggas don't understand that because niggas are afraid of liberation and elevation. They like to party and BS, party and BS intellectually, oh, excuse me, mentally. They like to party and BS mentally. But again, niggas are afraid of elevation and liberation.